Hi everyone, Brandon here, and welcome to Glitch Hikers. Um, I gotta include that intro, that little thing it had, but, like, I know very little about this game, other than, like, you're driving down a road all alone. And that's pretty much all I know about the game. So yeah, I'm like right now just enjoying like oh. Huh. Huh. I'm not gonna pay attention to the road at all. I just somehow know exactly where I'm going. And that was Pinky's Dream by David Lynch. Ah. This is Radio 90, and you're listening to Night Drive. Thanks for joining us tonight. It Almost a hundred Radio years ninety Columbus ever it says ninety five point seven. A Chinese explorer named Zhang He made seven naval expeditions, traveling thousands of miles <laughs> over three hundred ships. When the next emperor came Nebula? to power, all the ships were destroyed, and the Ming Dynasty entered a period of isolationism that lasted hundreds of years. With that one decision, the fate of the world changed. Let's go on a journey together with our next song. Find me on a whim. So yeah, I don't know much about this game. Ooh, that sounds nice. Other than it's an experience of like driving down the road in the middle of the night, which I've actually done quite a lot, but that's mostly because I work overnights, so no other cars or anything like that. I think I'm pretty sure I don't even need to use it. Oh! Okay, well, there's an eye in the sky. There's stuff going on. Oh! Uh. Thanks for the pickup. I was beginning to think it would be hours before I get a lift from something worthy. What? Ba had a bad experience with hitchhiking before? <laughs> I'm gonna ride right on his tail. Oh, I need to click. Oh, the car's gone. Mason? It's nothing a little drive can't fix. Just, uh, just to the next rest stop would be great. A good drive can fix a lot. Mind if I smoke? Driving is a metaphor. Driving is calming. Driving is nice, calming. Let's you be alone with your thoughts. Is that a joint? Hey, mind if I have one? Good old VC, buddy. But. Um, <clears throat> everyone needs a little time with their thoughts. Get to know them better, you know? They say the journey's more important than, you know, the other thing. The de you mean the destination? Mm. Why are you driving? Uh, to find something. I'm driving to find something. We're looking for something, right? Answers, meanings, perhaps ourselves. When I was a kid, we had a cabin out on one of the islands. At night you could see thousands of stars. It was so bright, you didn't need a flashlight. I gave them all names. Atticus and Caesar. Garuda and Sal or Soul? That, that one's pronounced weird in a lot of di it's pronounced differently based on like a lot of different things. They fought each other in wars of my making. 
Alliance is formed and we're broken. Explosions burst throughout the sky. I was a god to them. The stars are early. There is no god. Oh god. The stars are too far away. The stars are a light in the darkness. I wish I could click to just keep this going. Not click, but hit spacebar instead of mouse, because you really don't need the mouse. Maybe the darkness is just an illusion. Keep hitting space instead of keep instead of clicking. My pretty parents pretty much ignored me. Father was too drunk, mother was too busy, yet I still remember those days fondly. Think that says something about me? Yeah, that you and you still enjoyed those days. One day a man came to the greasy spot where I played. He said he was from the stars and he pleaded for my mercy. I told him it was all make-believe. He shook his head. What? <laughs> did you stop? So did you stop doing it? You know, I don't remember. I guess I must have. I never saw him again. Too bad. I was never really a kid. Thanks for the lift. Um, well, well, that was a little different. Ever wonder why the night sky is black, even though there is nowhere you could look that doesn't eventually have a star? Shouldn't it be white? And scientists say the average color of the universe is beige. There are stars get you. above you, even in the day. And they are watching. Gravity will, up next. Keep your eye on the road, and have a lovely drive. <laughs> what? The road? What road? This one. This one's interesting. Oh, how did there, buddy? Um, just to the nearest hospital. The baby is just about ready to pop out. Thanks for the pickup. How many of your species seem willing to take me? You got it, bro. <laughs> Shouldn't we get on ambulance instead of hitchhiking? Should I? Sorry, I'm still figuring out the customs of this world. <clears throat> I'm from a little planet in the triangular galaxy. Our stars got too close to each other system. Our stars got too close to each to another system and almost collided with the blue giant. There was a war and it made the planet totally unlivable. Of course, so we left. <clears throat> Did a little girl do it? I gotta ask. I, I gotta know. Did a little girl from an, from the islands cause it? What? I don't know what you mean. My journey was a long one, but wonderful. There are so many worlds in the galaxy. So much life. A little planet of tiny volcanoes. And... Bob was a civilization of artists and dreamers who believe we all just living in someone else's story. Tribes of nomadic people who live among the stars. You know, all the elements that form life were created in the heart of a star that exploded, spreading the elements throughout the galaxy. You and me weren't made of stars. <laughs> My god, it's full of stars. We are one with the universe. First bit of sense you made. I gotta say this. We are one with the universe. We are all of us children of the stars. In many mythologies in this world, the sun is the deity of power, light, fire, strength, 
some may say it may be reborn every year. Whereas the Earth Goddess represents life, birth, and fertility. But really, there would be no life without the sun, no earth without the sun. We're all born from stars like the sun. Shouldn't the sun god be the creator of life? Forgive the ancients their mistakes. They were dumb back then. Forgive. We have to forgive the ancients their mistakes. They created stories to help us understand the world. I suppose it's not their fault if they failed. My sister lost a baby. For years she couldn't talk about it. Then one day she said to me, it just, it, It's just as well. The universe didn't care, doesn't care about life. I'll wait for the next one. I can't wait. The hospital's just up here. Sunder. You know what that is? It's a sudden realization that every person and all people around you driving those cars are fully conscious people with their own stories and goals and loves and thoughts. Just think about that for a second. And he's gone. And the circle of life continues. We don't always have control over our lives or what happens to us, but we do control how we react. Except. Grow, live, love, drive hide, like a maniac, feed, wither, wisen, embrace, fight. You are all alone out there, but you know, you're never alone. Millions of distinct bacteria share your body. You're never alone. Oh, that's creepy. Keep driving, driver. Turtles all the way down is up next. Turtles all. Okay. Don't slow down, only faster. <clears throat> I, I'm just trying to go with like what voices I know I can do for some characters because I feel bad that there's so few that I can do. And that looks like a person over here. How's it going there? I didn't slow down at all, you just jumped in my car. The universe is expanding and yet the universe has no edge. What is, what is it expanding into? I'm in the fourth year of physics and even I don't really get it. The more important. It's a mystery. Uh, infinite space can expand infinitely. I like that one. That one's deep. The more important edge isn't space but time. Oh, oh god damn it. I didn't know I had a time limit. I'm trying to read it to all the amazing people who are watching this. If there are any. Hello? Am I just, like, essentially in my room alone? Instead of in a car alone? Picking up, uh, aliens, maybe? See, the thing is, I don't really need to get it. There's, like, 300 billion stars in our galaxy alone, and billions more galaxies out there. Our little single planet doesn't matter a bit in it all. And yet, it's still wonderful, don't you think? <laughs> I'm indifferent. I disagree. I agree. I agree. The universe is wonderful. Even within an infinite even within an infinity of the unknown, we still have love, happiness, and life. And all the crazy infinity that is our existence. In all vastness of understanding, we still lack there is this amazing thing that is consciousness. Carl Sagan once said <clears throat> that since we are part of the universe, consciousness allows the universe to know itself. That's beauty. That's beautiful. One day in the lab, we're, go we're doing chemistry experiments, right? Just a simple, quick
grade school experiment of burning different substances to see the colors they produce, like fireworks. Magnesium, cost, copper, strontium, lithium, science, and art come together. These are really nice songs, too. My lab partner was this girl, I don't know, but god she was pretty. In sort of a spunky way. We talked about different kinds of stars and the heat death of the universe and the entropy. It was the start of something beautiful. Love is a lie. Oh god. What was her name? We went away the next day, far away, to a little world of our own, flooding amongst nebula and white dwarfs and undiscovered planets. Her sense of humor was dry, sometimes I don't even know if she was joking. She said the most abs absurd things. How she wanted to die in the heart of a star. I said she'd burn up long before she'd get close, and she looked at me like it was a challenge. We laughed and cried together, helped each other through tough times, family and friends, in our own minds. The way she looked at me, a little smile in her eyes, the way she could rattle off chemical equations and constructions of molecules, she drew them in her sleep and I watched her eyelids flutter gently. The rise and fall of her chest, the, tender, the tendons in her arms. We watched the fireworks together on New, Year, on New Year's. Rattle off the compounds used, the bands of heat and luminosity, and flew off into the sky through the lingering smoke. We were together six months before it flamed out. Too intense for us to keep it up. But it was beautiful while it lasted. I, I will always love those days. Love is an amazing thing. It's what it's all about. Connecting with other people like that. The universe knowing itself. I'm going to see my new girlfriend now. Just out the city. Outside the city. We're going to die in a fiery explosion one day. We are. We are all going to die in a fiery explosion one day. It just... It's just gonna happen. But what a wonderful thing to be a part of it in the meantime. God, I love driving. Don't you love driving? Why do you drive? To find something. I'm still sticking with that. I'm looking for something. Understanding, maybe? Driving helps me find it. Alright, there are answers out there, and the beauty is in the search. Drive on. Goodbye. <laughs> Look at the night sky. What do you see out there? Emptiness? Chaos? An uncaring void? Or do you see the stars? The art of the nebulae? The romance of distant galaxies? Is God watching you? Is she watching any of us? Seven billion people on this world. And all we have is each other. I'm not gonna Our lie, this is a crazy radio station. Day. Now count back with me, driver. Five. Four. four three, three. Two. two one. one. Welcome back. This has been Radio 90 Night Drive. Travel safely. Good night. Feels like there's something behind me. But I can't look behind me. F lane exit only. Stay in left lane. Okay. Come on, this is just gonna close the game. Please don't. It's impressive what you do. Oh, thank God.
Credits. Thank you. I was worried that it was just gonna like crash my game. It said that it was roughly a 20 minute game and it turned out to be like 20 minutes pretty much. That's even with my slow reading, that's nice. I wish I had actually gotten to answer that one question because the, the, I still feel bad that I didn't. This was a beautiful little game. It's really deep as well. I, I like that you were picking up aliens in a way. Or what your mind perceived as you were picking up aliens because you never actually stopped. And they just disappear. It, it, it seems more like you're talking to yourself in your own mind. And that's, a, that's interesting to just think about pondering questions like that while inside your own head. But this was a really nice little game. I enjoyed it a lot. This music's also really cool too. would have happened if I stayed right. I I I'm, I'm not going to go back and find out. I'll leave that for you guys to find out for yourselves. Or find a video where they went right. But, like, I do recommend this. This is a nice little game to play. It's cool. And it's 20 minutes, roughly. I was actually, I'm not gonna lie, when I, I downloaded this a couple, I downloaded this in December, and I was slightly worried about playing it because some of the characters made it seem slightly like a horror-esque kind of thing. I was like, I don't want to be scared exactly. And I'm surprised how many games I'm finding where it's just like, I don't want to use my webcam even if I was use, able to use my webcam because the problem is like right now my computer isn't great so using a webcam is tough but I'm gonna end this recording now before like the game just closes because I'm worried that that's gonna happen so thank you all so much for watching and I hope you all have an amazing day Caught it right before the end. Nice.